Welcome back, folks, to another episode. This is gonna be episode number three um, of the cabin build, okay? So far, we got it delivered. Materials, check. And we just actually wrapped up episode two. If you're just tuning in, that's what's going on. We've got the foundation done. Got the pillars, there's uh, the 12 of them? 12 of them. And then we've got to run our skids this way. And then we've got to build the frame with the joist, the floor, well, the subfloor. Then you've got the insulation, then you've got the top floor. So today's objective is the floor. You're taking the concrete mixer back. Yeah, we're done with no it. No more concrete, thank yep. goodness, right? Yeah, that was not fun. Concrete, not the funnest thing to do in the world. I'll be honest with this you. This should go faster. This should be, Hopefully. I'm all about the wood. Big wood. Guy. Big wood guy. I, I can I like built like building a dock, building a treehouse. Sign me up. Pouring concrete. No, I'm sick that day. Got Rona again. You guys said you can't have it twice. I've got it twice. Anyways, so we are going to get into this. Tear up in one of these pallets here. We have to build our own skids. So they sent just a bunch of material. We're gonna have to put them together. They need to be 24 feet that way and 16 feet that way. That's the size of the cabin. The cabin is 24 by 16. So we're gonna have to build that. The goal today, before that sun hits the hill over there basically before sunset the goal is going to be get it framed and maybe the joist um and obviously get the skits put together but concrete's still wet so we can't do anything there and then tomorrow hopefully we jump into but if you guys want to get any beefcake merch it will be linked down below beefcake construction llc we're ocean approved that's the crew we've got out here the beefcake squad so we've got a bunch of merch it'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out beefcake merch is still available and you use promo code flare to get 15 percent off your entire purchase at guggensquad.com that goes for anything on guggensquad.com so if you guys you want Guggen Bait, you want Guggen Squad merch, you want beefcake merch, whatever it might be, make sure you use promo code FLAIR and you get 15% off everything. So that's my spiel. Those boys are gonna do the concrete mixer up. My dad, he's coming down here in a bit. My uncle's over there and we got Zach and we've got the dogs, Millie. Millie and Lucy are definitely gonna be putting the frame together. So with that being said, let's get to building. got them we finally got the skids done that took longer than expected it just everything's been taking longer today but it, these things are eight inches thick that's a thick piece of wood that's banjo a thick boy. eight inches by six we have eight by six here's our problem what did we buy brackets for six by six, six. By six. so we get the lucky opportunity to see the craftsman work of those two gentlemen who are above beefcake llc and uh they've got to do some notching some cutting to make it fit so like you just notch out a little spot basically for the bracket to sit on so we got to get that and then we're gonna try to work on that frame the frame i don't know we'll see if how easy it is so far it's been been kind of a challenge not gonna lie i'm having fun you having you having a good time that's i'm glad banjo's having a good time well let's see if we can get to notching and maybe get the frame figured out here This is where I get my jokes. This is what the ladies came for. Look at this guy. 
hit my hand right now or something. Uh, you got no pressure. Good bander. He's notching it out. Well, we've got them all notched. Zach's working on this final one. I never want to do that again. I thought, wow, what if we just went and bought six by sixes? But I don't think they sell them anywhere around here for 24 feet long. So you'd have to build it anyway. And uh, no fun, but we got notches all the way down. How's your back feel? I think I'm broken. This is brutal. We, we were hoping to have the floor done by sundown. What happened to that? How much does this thing weigh? These beams are not light. Yeah. I don't know. They're going to be lot. heavy. They're going to be a lot. We were supposed to have the floor, or hopefully you can have the floor done. I mean, the skids alone took us two hours, three hours, like, that's insane. We probably have an hour of daylight left. What do we got? Yeah, it's 4.30. Yeah, it's 4.30. We got an hour of daylight. So, skids are done. I don't know what are, if we're going to try to move some of these over or nearby, and if we're even going to start on the framing today or not. All I know is I never want to hand chisel wood notches ever again in my entire life. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. All right, back nice and easy. I'll help you hold this up, Andrew, until we get close. You can get your end down first. I'm in. Okay. I'm in. We're in here. We're in. in and in. Woo! Look at that, baby. It's like a pro. Uh, no. Oof. I'm gonna be in a wheelchair tomorrow. One, two, three. Three. Okay, that, oh, that's no, easy. Too much. All right. Good? That's good. Yep. Drop it. We're good. Better? Left. This one's heavier. Are you? What? I'm in. There's a big gap in one end. There's a bed. Welcome back, folks. It's the next morning. Oh, rip. Maley, no, Maley. Maley, leave the guinea alone. Oh, God, rip. Oh, rip. Maley's fighting a guinea right now. Maley, come back. Hey, no, you stop that right now. You stop that. Maley, get back in the meal. Quit harassing everybody. Hey, Maley, get in the meal. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Goodness. Gracious. Anyways, welcome back, folks. It's the next day. It's the morning. Our pigs are pet, like they are every freaking morning. Ralphie, what up, buddy? We're going to get these guys fed. Over here. Come on, come on. Hey, Ralphie, Ralphie, hey, how you doing? Good morning, buddy. There you go. How you guys doing this morning? You want to come help us build? I think we need to take Ralph down there. Ralph, I heard, is good at framing. Llama, what's up? Everybody misses you, Llama. Ralph kind of stole the show. She just gets like, she's a little bit more timid. She's not the alpha anymore. She's not the tallest. She doesn't have the longest neck, so she just kind of like hangs out in the back, but we didn't forget about Llama Roads, okay? Just because we got a dope camel didn't mean we forgot about Llama Roads. Llama, I'm going to go put some over here, buddy. There you go. Marty, hey. Marty, you want some food? Marty didn't want any food. There you go. Bony apple feet. All right. Well, we better go check on Jimothy. Look at those chickens. They ate that entire bag. That was like a half bag of like bird. It was for the quail until we killed them all. <laughs> I guess they like that food. Morning, Jimothy. Hey, how you doing, Rick? Hey, you want some of this? Get some of that grain, son. How you doing, buddy? Oh, rip. See you later. Well, Jimothy is taken care of. Other animals are taken care of. Today, we're resuming. You guys saw episode number one, delivery. Episode two, foundation. This is episode three, which is the floor. Yesterday, we got the skids made. About all we accomplished yesterday. Took a while, but they're on there. They're sitting on the forms. You guys saw it. We're going to run up there right now. My dad, Papa Beefcake, my uncle, Uncle Beefcake, are coming as well as Zach Banjo. Called in sick. He said his back hurted from uh, chipping away at the chisel in the wood or whatever. He was complaining. I'm not sure. Anyway, so we're going to run back to the cabin, get to building my objective today the goal today is to get the floor completed that's the frame the joists the under plywood the insulation the top plywood the floor needs to be done by the time it gets dark tonight you guys stay tuned
folks. Well, we got the insulation down on the ground. We ended up putting it over by the pond so I had to drag it over. So this is insulation. It's also, I think it's doors and windows, right? I yeah. saw, some, saw some doors and windows in here. So the insulation's going on. But update on all this. Haven't given you guys an update in a minute. But the whole thing has been framed. You've got your joists that are running this way and then your spacers here. So that's all done. That blue stuff is the vapor barrier. And then you put the 3 8 inch plywood on this. Then the whole thing has to flip completely over, which is going to be interesting to try to flip it. We're going to try to flip it onto that. And then you lay the insulation, which is that stuff. And then you put three quarter inch plywood on top. And then basically the floor is done. So I didn't really give much instruction with this, but it's pretty basic. I mean, 16 on center, running this way, your spacers. That's basically, that's basically the dealio. So this is, it's a big cabin, dude. Like this gives you a perspective. It looks a lot bigger than the this is huge. Like to go from one end to another, like walking inside the room, like you, you're going to, you're, you're going to, you're going to be able to have a few people staying here. So the next step is going to be finish up the vapor barrier, put down the three eighths plywood, and then it gets interesting. We got to give it the old flip rooski. So stay tuned. folks the floor well it's not completely done but the top bottom i guess it's, it's the top but it's not the top but it's going to be the bottom side so that's actually going to be the bottom of the cabin and then we're going to put the insulation in the top part on so this is where things get tricky you got to flip a 16 by 24 inch floor foot 16 by 24 foot floor basically for the cabins this whole thing needs to go whoosh pancake flap right onto this without breaking well we've got the excavator behind me we have the skid loader <sighs> wish us luck we got here this is the cabin it's the lean to i like that i said we just call it good here we can sleep under this banjo for sure could sleep under this i've slept under sketchier uh structures so i got it propped up with the forks switched to the bucket resting on these beams the idea is the bucket should be able to basically distribute the load better I, I don't know basically that should not be able to punch through that because it's not like a fork like a straight bucket there's these joists here will prevent it so i i should be able just to go and it shouldn't bust any theoretically and then on the other side of course we're ocean approved here we've got the excavator just to catch it in case you guys are curious so i don't know if anyone's ever done it before like this but i'm hoping we can get her flipped over i don't know what you would do otherwise like the, the instructions that came with this this is a jamaica cottage shop cabin and they come they come pre-cut instructions I'd have, i might give them a call after today and be like the non-beefcake ocean hey, approved way to be fair, it said two people 80 the, the instruction hours. said it would take no 60 60 Hours, two people sorry. 60 hours i'm not sure how two humans could do this if you guys have any ideas you let me know i gotta give jamaica cottage shop a call and be like hey how did normal non-beefcakes do it because we're ocean approved so that's, that's why we got I'm this saying. going on but most people people that are actually osha approved probably can't do this so enjoy well folks i'm trapped in here i can't get out we've got this ocean approved deal i'm holding the whole thing up full jack they're over there building more support so right now you can see a support beam there support beam there then i'm holding the middle they're building longer support beam i don't know i've never seen nothing like this, this is I it's took I, I took our ocean approved to the next level. I mean, we got, we're 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 right there now. Oh, we're, yeah. we're top tier ocean approved beefcake. So it's quite the doozy. If my hydraulics give out, well, I'll probably be safe in this cab. But whoever's under it, being you, this would hurt. Rip. Wow, this 
sketchy. You like this or what? Yeah, I, I won't move. I'm getting out just like this. No, you're not supposed to do that, but I'm doing it. All right, hydraulics. My life depends on you right now. Down. Better hope those hydraulics don't get out. Woo, look at that. <laughs> That's why. Hey. So I, I got to play catch. I was a pitcher in baseball, not a catcher. Have you ever played? Uh, wait, wait, hold on. You said you were the pitcher? Yeah, I'm lefty. I've seen you throw some stuff. It wasn't that Listen, good. Listen, guy, those were a few, few years back. But oh. I'm curious, any of you folks at home ever played catch with a skid loader and an excavator? Because right now the skid loader is going to throw a 24 by 16 floor of a whole cabin. And you know, I got to catch it with the excavator. Who's running the skid loader? It's a real question. Who's ocean approved? Where's Banjo at? Banjo's the only one who knows banjo. how to run it. Rit. So let's see what this looks like. violations. We'd probably be in prison by now, to be honest. I hope this works. Got it close, okay? This is, cannot believe this is happening. This is definitely something we would come up with to do, but look how close it is. It's really, really close. The problem is my uh, bucket there. I can't, if I, if I go any further back or down, it's gonna slip out. So we're building braces right now. We're gonna brace it, get the excavator out of the way, put the skid loader in with the pallet fork, catch it with the forks, and slowly lower the whole thing down. We're so close. I cannot believe we flipped this 16 by 24 like a pancake. We did it, folks. Cannot believe it. Luckily, we've got the proper machinery. Who, like, what would you do if you didn't have? Would you classify that as the proper machinery no, for this task? No, but we made it work. That's the bigger, <laughs> that's the big picture here. But True. there, right here. So next step would be insulation and then three quarters plywood on the top and the floor is completely done. Never want to do that again. I don't know. Maybe you guys know in the comments of that down below. Would you just piece it out? Would you like quarter these so you could like manually do it and then like tack them together? Is that the proper way to do it? I want you guys to comment down below what you would do if you were in this situation and didn't have this equipment. Because I'm curious, how would you do it? I don't understand like any other way besides what we did. But that's all I've got for today's episode. We're going to end it here. We'll pick it up. I don't know if we're going to be working on this tomorrow. It's supposed to get kind of cold. So you might have like a little bit of a break for a couple days and then jump back into it but made some major progress now you can actually see what this cabin is going to look like right here so you're going to be standing here looking out over under here is going to be the kitchen 
living room loft's gonna be above me front door windows all that good stuff so hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video we will catch you on the next one and peace